George Zimmerman has been acquitted by a jury of his peers. Six people who may or may not have been Paula Dean. So, that's great! Zimmerman, who, depending on who you talk to, is either white, Hispanic, or of Hebrew descent, in case you hadn't heard, was arrested following a confrontation he had with Trayvon Martin, by most accounts African-American, an unarmed teenager who lived in Zimmerman's neighborhood. Zimmerman was a neighborhood watch volunteer in the gated community. Now, I don't know how they do neighborhood watch in Florida, but I would think, and I readily admit, I'm an amateur at these things, the first thing you would do is get to know your neighbors so, you know, you don't shoot them. Whatever. Zimmerman sees this kid in a hoodie, minding his own business, walking along the street. Zimmerman is in his car. Zimmerman calls 911. The dispatcher tells Zimmerman to stay in the car. Zimmerman gets out of the car. Now, I don't know how they do neighborhood watch in Florida, but I would think, and I readily admit I'm an amateur at this sort of thing, the second thing you would do is follow the instructions of the police! Zimmerman confronted Martin. There was a struggle. Zimmerman shot Martin in the chest at close range, which he admitted. Martin died as a result of this wound. That Zimmerman shot and killed Martin is not at issue. What is at issue is whether Zimmerman's shooting of Martin was legal under Florida's Stand Your Ground law. Stand Your Ground is a legal framing of the concept of self-defense such that in a public setting, if someone initiates a conflict with you, you have no duty to retreat to safety. You can just kill them then and there. I don't like your shoes. So, despite the fact that by all accounts Martin did not, in that moment, initiate a conflict with Zimmerman, and that Zimmerman, against the police instructions, left the safety of his car to confront Martin, Zimmerman's altercation with Martin was viewed by the court as defensive from Zimmerman's perspective, and Zimmerman's shooting of Martin was completely justified. What are they putting in the water in Florida? So now, everyone has chimed in on this. Nancy Grace's wig is looking a little crooked, and speech is a little slurred in this clip of her openly and emphatically dropping the F-bomb and using the word coon on HLN. And MSNBC's Martin Bashir reveals the soft and ugly underbelly of this case in this clip, causing me to ask where George Zimmerman was when George W. Bush was 17. I've never really liked Florida, and Sanford, Florida, hometown to George Zimmerman, rang a bell with me as a place I really didn't care to be, but I couldn't remember why. Then it occurred to me. Back in November of 2010, in episode NU1046, we did a story about a car dealership in Sanford, Florida, that was giving away a free AK-47 with every used truck purchased. See that clip here. Yeah, Sanford, Florida's looking better all the time.